All right, another video. This is like a follow-up to the previous video where I used the pocket operator. So what I did was I transferred everything into, and I'll show you, using this bank here, transferred just the uh, chops that I, sample chops that I did. So this is what it sounds like. And then I'll show you, I put it in here and I chopped it up. So it's already four bars. So I let it play for four and then the beginning of the fifth bar and then chopped it at the end so you can see. So this is what it sounds like. Okay. So one of the easy things I found with the SP, if you got a four bar and it's a, sorry about that, hitting the camera, and it's a perfect four bar, go into pattern select, press record, set this pattern up, right? And then just do the, um, hit the remain button and turn it to the TR record and set, hit the sub and then set it for the first bar, right? Set it for however many bars, it's gonna be four bars. Make sure your BPM, you can see mine's at 93, matches whatever you originally made the BPM for. And then just put it in and now you have pretty much the same if you have the sp i mean the this new tr record is kind of like very similar to the pocket recorder to the pocket record pocket operators uh po33 i mean I'm, it's almost identical the only difference is this doesn't have the 8-bit which i do hope roland eventually do will throw us the ability to not only just bit crush but change the sample rate so we have more uh more control because I'll be honest, some of these effects in here, I'll probably never use them. There's about six, maybe seven or eight effects that I really use all the time. And that's about it. Some of them are set on the master chain too. So I'm going to say there's 10 because I'll use like the 303. Very rarely use the 404. I use the cassette a lot and their compressor is really nice in here. The isolator, yes, use it. Use this, you know, and we could go on that for days. I'm not. This video isn't about that. But the point is that there are some things that would be nice to get certain sounds like that we could kind of emulate if we have more ability on the sample rate. All right. Anywho, pocket operator went into there. I normalized that track, by the way. So if you go out and look at it again, it'll record in sometimes like really low. So I went ahead and normalized it. All right. Go back to the pattern select. Recorded that in, as I said, on the pattern using the TR. And then I was like, I'm just going to do the TR drums the same way because I wanted that similar sound that I brought from the pocket hour just basically to transfer it into here. Because the one thing about the pocket hour I don't like is pretty much you could have your patterns. Let's say you have your four bar patterns here. But if you fill all those patterns up, there's no other way to save this. It's not like you can say, I'm going to save it in here and I'm going to start a new song. You pretty much, that's what you have. You change the BPM, it changes it on everything, right? Whereas with this, the SP, you have the ability to, each, each one of these banks, even within one project, could be a different tempo. So you have a lot more freedom, and that's obviously, it's a SP, it's $500 versus paying for a $90 or $100 um, piece right there. So anyway... Really cool. So then I went in and did the drums. Check out the drums with it. And yes, those drums were programmed in, but I like the feel of it. There's all kinds of techniques and tricks. I may do a video on that that you can use to to uh, very similar to this, where you can trigger it to stutter and, you know, on the hats or whatever. So fun times ahead on this. And I'm starting to get in the programming, though I never really did that. Uh, but it's cool for the drums. And yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. This is a five minute video. I'm going to try to end it here that you can do that. I haven't even finished this song. May go back and do some other stuff to it, too. But that's it for right now. I just wanted to show you that. All right, I'm out.